Hello everyone and welcome to another one of our videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the cabin air filter in this 2016 Hyundai Accent. It's STP part number CAF1820P and I'm going to give you an Amazon link in the description to where you can actually buy the filter. So in order to change the cabin filter it's pretty simple on this car. You have two little knobs on either side of the glove box. What you're going to do is turn them left to loosen to remove them and the glove box is going to come down. And right back in there you can see where the cabin filter goes. So I'm going to go ahead and get a light in there so you'll be able to see better. Pull that little access panel off, slide the old filter out, show you what it looks like, and then I'm going to slide the new filter in and install it. So I'll be right back once we got this area lit up. Okay, so now I have a light inside the glove box and now I'm going to remove the access panel for the cabin filter. It's super simple. All you need to do is grab these two clips on either side, squeeze, and the access panel just comes straight off. And right inside there, you have your cabin filter. So what I'm going to do is pull it out. And I'm going to show you what it looks like and how dirty it is once I move the camera. All right, so this is what the old cabin filter looks like. It doesn't look horrible on camera, but you can see there's some bugs and leaves and whatnot stuck inside it. It's time to change it. I've seen worse. This one's certainly not the worst that I've seen, but I recommend changing these once a year. So I'm going to go ahead and get the old cabin filter out of the box. I'm going to mark the date on it so that the next person who works on this car knows when it was changed. And I'm going to go ahead and install it in the car. All right, so we have the new cabin filter marked and ready to go. All you need to do to install it is slip it into place. You can see I have the date and the mileage marked on it. And then the door is just going to pop her right back into place. Might take a little bit of finagling to get it back into the area that it's supposed to be in. But just pops into place. You can do it one-handed. So to finish up the job, all you need to do is flip the glove blocks back up into place and turn those little knobs right to tight to clip them into place and have the glove box in its normal travel range. And that's it. It's a really simple job, maybe take you five or ten minutes if you've never done it before. And with that, I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.